Angles knows the shots, he'd have played the right one. Now this is a fascinating part of this match now, Stephen, and the both players, and I'm surprised they've gone out to the auditorium to clear their heads after that frame. Yeah, and uh, Sean Murphy will be feeling good. The last thing he wanted was to be 9-8 down after win the last two frames to stay in this championship. He's got two bites of the cherry now. And it looks like Jamie Jones sort of gets himself there with a chance to go ahead and win. He had two, three really good chances in that, didn't he? But he just didn't, didn't force himself in front. Yeah, it was a kind of rabbit in the headlights. Jamie Jones in that frame, he had Thank three or four good chances. Frame. Sean Murphy to back. So this is what it's all about. Crucible first round, nerves jangling. Can you hold yourself together? 9-8 Murphy leads. Jamie's got to be careful here because I do fancy Sean if he does get a chance to be able to put this match to bed in one visit. And he potted an absolute corker in the last frame down this side of the table. Can he do it again? Yes, he can. One. Wobbled in the jaws because it wasn't quite how he wanted it, so that's why the cue ball's come up a tiny bit short. I mean, it's a great pot over distance and under the circumstances, but this black isn't nice. No surprise he's refusing it. Or is he? Having a long, hard look at the potting angle. Another shake of the head. I mean, it's. I mean, every shot could be his right last right. in this championship. And that certainly could have been the case if he went for that black. Jamie Jones won. Yeah, so refused it, which I don't blame him for, and then played a pretty decent shot. Shouldn't be a problem for Sean, just dropping in the side of the pack, though. Well, it shouldn't be a problem, but that's Foul. a mile away. And the only way he's got away with that is if he's hampered his queuing, because otherwise he'd be taking that red in the middle. Sean was asking the referee if he had a full ball contact on a red so he can keep playing the shot. <coughs> Just doesn't need to nudge a red out. That's okay. Touching ball. Could be heading for Reraxville here, John, possibly. Uh, not now, it's touching ball. That's uh, a result for the frame, really. You just play around the angles inside. Blue and pink and down behind the green somewhere. The red that's on the black cushion possibly will stop Jimmy taking this on. The 
There is no path to get the cue ball back up the table, but he won't be happy with that shot. That is not what he wanted. Just to leave Sean Murphy with a, a dig at a long pot is not a good idea at the best of times. Especially the way this man cues. Yeah, stun off the side cushion. Leave a nice blue into the middle to go into the bunch. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking it was a, a shot he'd left up into the corner, but it certainly was easier into the middle. Well, look where the cue balls ended up. That shows you how badly it hit it. Yeah, Jamie's just put his cue there. That's a good place to leave the cue ball. He can line up behind yellow, brown and blue. Just clip this red onto the pink. And get the cue ball up on that line. It'll be a bit more trouble. Well, it's found the gap. Hmm, I don't know whether Sean might be tempted to you see Jamie having a go at that red, thinking, well, it's the only one I can possibly leave. He hasn't. I'm just wondering whether it might be worth investing in a double here. It's a little shot to nothing. Leave yourself on the blue. I may have decided just to play the safety there instead. Don't blame him for that under the circumstances. Try and keep it nice and tight. Depends which way he wants to go here, Sean, but there's a nice target down behind that blue. He can play off this red. You've got to make sure that you get that cue ball at the right pace because you've got yellow and blue lined up, but if he can get the cue ball off the side cushion, a little bit of side, there's a target behind the blue. Which wouldn't be the worst place to lead the cue ball. He's got a very good second prize. Could, be, could that be the shot? <coughs> Wins this match for Sean Murphy. The enough wouldn't be a terrible result here. Mm, good touch. Very good touch. got the upper hand at the moment, Sean Murphy. He's playing the aggressive safety shots. I was just going to say, though, he missed a trick there. He needed to line that up with the green there. He's given Jamie the chance to play the shot behind the blue. 
Should have had the cue ball lined up with the green there, Sean. No. Um, now he's in trouble because of it. It looked like nothing that shot before, but it was so important to make sure he lined up with the green. He's lost the position of being in the driving seat. Looking like he may be forced into the two cushion escape. May he play side cushion, top cushion with a bit of run inside and try and flick the red on the way back. That's what Sean was looking at. <coughs> Certainly not easy, this. Not really got a red that's right on the top cushion that he can drop on. Jones it's not the worst result missing it the first time players normally err on that side the last thing you want to do is go into this red half ball or full ball leave the cue ball down there <laughs> just adjust either go up the cushion a bit higher or slightly more left hand side yeah, it's almost like having a sighter at it isn't it you just first look Give yourself a better idea. Referee Paul Collier had forgotten there as well, but show me if he's got to hit a red here, because he can actually see a red full ball. So he can't really play the shot he's just played, because if he misses a red, he'll forfeit the frame. You don't want to be doing that at 9-8. So he's got to hit a red here, Sean, and he's in all sorts of trouble. There's not even one he can have a pot at. I mean, the only thing you can think of, if he's going to play something that's absolutely mad, Hit them as hard as you can, and you might fluke one. Yeah, and it looks like madness, but it was because of the circumstances and the rules. He just had to give them a bash. It is amazing what can happen. I mean, that that really comes up once every blue moon. What's happened there, but. Unfortunately for Sean, it's come up in the very important frame in the first round at the Crucible. One. Well, you found a nice time to find a natural angle, find a nice cannon to leave yourself on the pink. Jamie Jones find a 50 or 60 break from somewhere. Seven. He won't be fussy about getting the black back in his spot. Just stay on the pink. Pink pops to both corners.
14. Mm, what he's got to do more than anything is keep that cue ball nice and tight because the blue isn't on its spot. So if you start losing the cue ball and having to go up the table, it's going to make the break so much more difficult. As it started already, 15. having to go up there. Yeah, the previous pink to red, he put the pink in the left-hand side of the pocket, which widened the angle of the cue ball. If there was ever a time of making things as easy as possible, this was it. I have to say he's come betwixt and between on everything as well. He's not great on brown, yellow or green here. And he's got lucky because he certainly didn't play that. And the good news, it's just a soft stun and we'll be on the brown. So nothing to do with the cue ball. Hmm. Love to have been on the inside red there. That would have been perfect. Well, he's taken it. Just have to screw it back. Like to have been straight on that, that would have been easy. Twenty four. So far. So good. Yeah, and you have to go back to that safety shot that you mentioned, John, careless from Sean Murphy. I mentioned he had control of the situation, but thirty since then. He's lost control. Yeah, it's an There's instance one. and it doesn't look, you know, plainly obvious at the time, but that's the difference between the top class match players, your John Higginses and your Selby's. I can assure you you'd have been lined up with the green and you wouldn't have been seeing the side of the pack. And because of that, Jamie was given that opportunity and from there, well, Sean was in all sorts of trouble. Forty-four. Just a couple of pots, a couple of positional shots away from taking us into a final frame decider. Five. When it really will be a toss of the coin. If you'd have tuned in earlier and seen Sean Murphy romping into an eight-five lead, you'd have thought, well, there's only one winner there. That 51. interval came at a weird time for Sean. He was in full flow, wanting to carry on. His opponent was on the rocks. But you have to say he's shown 52. great tenacity. He's certainly been here to compete. And it's had a little air of inevitability about it this frame. Because I should say that it was going to go to this match, that it was going to go to the final frame. Just like one of those matches. Very good from Jamie Jones, this. 59. Very good indeed. 6. So, 79 points in front. 66. Already won the frame. I suggest you get the kettle on. Get yourself settled down, ready for the final frame, because it's coming up any time soon. 67. Great character, Jimmy Jones has shown here. Get 
gets this plant every chance of making the century break. 74. Oh, he's a little bulldog, isn't he? He's in there scrapping away. Fantastic performance. 81. Put you on the spot. Who do you fancy? 82. I think if Sean gets in early, he'll win the final frame. But if it goes, you know, topsy turvy, I think Jamie Jones can win. To me, he seems to be <coughs> the player out of the two of them that's better at scrapping. 89. That's the beauty about this game. And the pack of reds break 90. open. You don't know what you're going to get. All we have got is a thrilling final frame decider. Was I on the fence enough there for you? Splinters are OK. 97. Because I don't know myself. 99. Get in. Get in. Get in. Two. His contribution's been superb. Turn up. Well played, Jamie Jones. Well, you can't do it much better than that. Very, very well played. Brilliant. Jamie Jones, what an absolutely fantastic clearance of 124. And we always knew it was going close this match. And it is now. It's 9-0. Final frame decider coming up. Don't you go anywhere.